Okay, what's up guys? My name is Daniel Scott Ile. I'm an artist, manager, music entrepreneur, and content creator. Um, I want to first thank um, Tipso. Tipso is a very great musical brand uh, that gave me this opportunity. I know you guys have not seen me before, but then I believe we'll get to know each other and we'll learn a lot from you guys. So I expect a lot of comments and uh, likes and then you guys should tell me what you think about what we're talking about today. Okay, so let's go. So today's topic is going to be about 10 mistakes emerging artists make on your way to stardom. You know, um, as a music artist, you're on a journey, okay, to success. So there are some basic mistakes you have to avoid. On your journey to music stardom, there are some mistakes you have to avoid, okay? First on the list has to be promotion, not promoting yourself. A lot of talented artists are out there and um, they have what it takes. The singing capability is there, um, the zeal, the branding, everything is there, but they don't promote themselves. Okay? So you have to promote yourself. You have to avoid the mistake of not promoting yourself on your social media, on every platform you can get it to. Promote yourself. That is the first mistake you should avoid. Do not assume that you don't need promotion. You need promotion to go ahead in life. You need promotion to be that superstar you want to be. Okay? Second on the list, a lot of imagined artists get deceived with studio settings. I think this happens a lot of times. You know, artists um, get to a studio and the studio setup is so amazing. They feel that is what is needed in the studio. The producer makes the studio stand out. The producer makes the sound slick and very, very laudable to the audience. So when you as an emerging artist get to a studio, the first thing you should look at is the producer. How skilled is he? Okay, then you can, you can pay attention to the musical instruments. Okay, so that is the second mistake you should avoid. Do not get deceived by a studio setting. It is the producer that makes the sound. You and the producer, your bonding, it is what makes the sound sleek and professional for the fans to enjoy. So, the third mistake you should avoid as an emerging artist on your way to stardom is let's manage it like that. I, I honestly want to tell you guys, I have met a lot of artists. They just tell me, ah, Baba, let's manage it now. They drop a song. But the song is not up to par. It is not up to the standard settings we have in the market right now. And they, and they, they just want to manage it because of the money they've spent. No. Do not do the mistake of managing a song and releasing it. That song will do a lot of damage to your career. So the third mistake you should avoid as an emerging artist is let's manage it like that. Do not manage it. If it's not dope, if it's not cool, keep it in your computer, okay? Don't even bother releasing it. The fourth on the list is one man mupo mindset. I think this one happens in Nigeria a lot, you know. Uh, Baba, I'm just on my own, you know. Uh, I just like to do my thing. I don't like to... It doesn't work in the music industry. If you want to get ahead, if you want to roll with the top, top stars, if you want to make sure you have fan base all over the world, fan base in Nigeria, you have to have a team. Are you getting it? Avoid the mindset of, uh, I'll be one man Mopo. One man Mopo does not do it, okay? So whatever you do in music, make sure you avoid the one man Mopo mindset. It will not get you anywhere. Okay, so the fifth on the list to avoid is the fact that you don't use social media. You don't use social media regularly. A lot of artists are withdrawn. They, they, they don't like to put everything out there. I really understand that, okay? But you should know that social media has changed the game. Social media is a very, is a very important tool right now you have to use to promote your music, your career, okay? The mistake you must avoid is not using social media regularly. You have to update. You have to update. You have to, you have to stay at the top of the mind of people. 
okay? Your music is coming out. You went to STV, you went to this branch, you went to that branch. You need to put it out. You need to let your fans know that you are doing something. You have to understand that you need to avoid the mistake of not using your social media regularly, okay? A lot of artists, it is when they want to drop the song or when the day they are dropping the song, they start promoting the song. A lot of artists don't understand the concept of hyping. You need to hype. Okay, a lot of people have things on their mind. Okay, um, the fan you want to send your music to, the fans you want them to download your song, they went to work, they have so many things in their life. So you need to remind them repeatedly that, oh, song is coming out, my jam is coming out. You have to hype. Okay, on your social media page, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, you need to update people. Okay, don't just come on the day you are releasing song and just expect people to pick it up. You need to understand that you have to use your social media correctly and regularly. Okay, the sixth thing you have to avoid, six mistake you have to avoid as an imagined artist is not collaborating. Jesus Christ, this happens a lot of time. You see a very talented artist and then he's telling you and you know that, okay, like as an artist manager now, I can, I, I, when people consult me and they might give them advice, okay, this is what you need to do. Sometimes it happens that it's collaboration they need, okay? So as an emerging artist, you need to collaborate. You need to tap into new fans. You need the exposure. You need the bonding. You need the expression. You need so many things from collaboration. Don't just say, yes, I just want to be on my own. I just want, um, you, okay, Joe, uh, uh, Baba, J. Cole did it on his own. I dropped his own album and he went platinum all, all by himself. No, it doesn't work in this part of the world. You need to collaborate. You need to tap into people's fan base, okay? Collaboration is what takes you from level A to level B. And if you're in level B, you to take you to level C. Seventh thing on the list okay of 10 mistakes you have to avoid as an imagined artist is the fact that you need to learn okay do not form the habit of not learning okay the world is so easy right now we have social media we have our phone we have google we have youtube we have youtube videos like this that will teach you that will make you know things you don't know okay the mistake you need to avoid as an upcoming at as an emerging artist is that you need to avoid not learning learn watch youtube videos go on google learn from google learn from what don't just use your phone for aesthetics you need to use it to learn okay avoid not not learning avoid not learning that's another thing you need to avoid as an emerging artist okay now the eighth on the list is looking for freebies I know, okay, everybody has a tight budget, everybody, including me, everybody has a tight budget, okay, but then you don't get the best out of people if you want them to do a free job for you. As an emerging artist, to get to that point you want, to get to that top, you need to spend, you need to put something in for people, you need to encourage people, you need to promote yourself these things requires funding okay that is why most of the time when i deal with artists i tell them you must have a source you must have a source of income okay that's why when i work with artists i tell a lot of artists okay you need to have a source of income okay gone are the days where you will just be in your you will just be in your parlor and you'll be singing and somebody will just walk in and pick you up and stop it doesn't work that way again you need funding you need to get something to push something in this case, you need to get funding to push your music career, okay? So, you need to what? You need to stop looking for freebies. That is a mistake you need to avoid. Stop looking for freebies, okay? I think it leads us to the ninth on the list. Ninth thing you need to avoid. Not having a source of income. And it, 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 it's intertwined, okay? The seventh one is you not looking for freebies. The eighth one is you not doing, don't do the mistake of not having a source of income. If you don't have a source of income as an emerging artist, you will be limited. I won't say you won't get anywhere because great things happen, luck does happen, but then you will be limited. Your journey will be withdrawn, okay? Do not do the mistake of not having a source of income, fundings, okay? Make sure, basically, if you don't even, if you don't, if you can't make 
money. If you can't make something to fund your music career, then you can't even make it as an artist because a lot of things goes into into um, the music industry. Okay, so the eighth on the list is that do not do the mistake of not having a source of income. Have something on your hand that you use to push your career. Number nine on the list is a work at work. I think I think that sounds like rhyme. I don't know. Rappers can like that. Work at work. Okay. You see an artist um, with a very great song and um, he's enthusiastic. He has what it takes. And then he says, I'm dropping a song and you're happy. Oh my God, this guy is dropping a song. And he sends you the artwork and you're like, uh, you need to get yourself the best of graphics, the best of image for your music. You know why? Because people see before they hear. Okay, if I'm scrolling down, if I'm scrolling through um, YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, it is your image. It is the image of the artwork I see first before I listen. So if the image is really great, people will be enthusiastic to listen to you. But if, if the image is not great, if the image is whack, if it's not dope, if it looks like poster color, people will not listen. Okay, so avoid having whack artwork. Avoid managing graphics that are not top-notch make sure your graphics make sure your artwork make sure your image is always top-notch as an emerging artist and then you will go places it's the last but it's not the least okay thinking record label is your solution i don't know how many times i have sensitized emerging artists record label is not an overall solution. I won't take it away from record labels, okay? They bring a lot of value onto the table, okay? But record label is not the overall solution, okay? If you're a music artist and you see your career as a business, you understand that record label is just a step ahead towards your journey. It's when they sign you, the work just the work triples, okay? A lot of artists think once I'm signed like this, I'll just go and relax. No, it's not like that, okay? So having the mindset that record label is the overall solution to all your problems you're experiencing right now as an emerging artist is the wrong way to think, okay? Last but not the least, okay? Record label is not an overall solution. Do not think record label is the overall solution, okay? There's so many things, so many factors, AR, managers, producers, okay, video directors, so many things goes into the mix to make a superstar out of you, okay? But record label is not the overall solution. When you get your mindset right, you will get it right, okay? Like I said earlier, um, my name is Daniel Scott Ile, and um, courtesy of Tipso, I'm on this channel, and I'm very happy, I'm excited. You guys, comment and um tell me what you think down on the comment uh, section okay um thank you for the watching this video thank you so much for watching this video um it, it goes a long way to know that someone is at the other end watching and um, learning from us if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe subscribe to this channel to get more content to to brighten up your mindset to get more content to get things that benefit you